Hesperia, California. That's where you're thinking about moving, huh? Well, I'm excited you clicked on this video. I am local to Hesperia. I lived for Hesperia for nine years, and I've been in the high desert for over 20 years, so I know all about it. I'm Derek DeVille. I'm the owner of Realty One Group Empire. I have three offices here in the high desert to serve you, so if you have any real estate needs with, this, with the high desert or surrounding areas, you wanna reach out to me so that we can give you the best service, and we really have that local know-how. And by the way, when you buy a house through us, you pay zero commission. Yep. So let's go ahead and get started. The general area, Hesperia actually straddles the 15 freeway. It is on the east and the west side, predominantly though on the east side. It's three hours south of Las Vegas and it's about an hour and a half north of Ontario. Let's talk about the pros. This is the number one reason why I think people move to Hesperia. It's the affordability. This is October 2021. Our average sales price is $397,000. When you compare that to Ranch Cucamonga, Claremont, Upland, etc., we are more than half their price. And we're only about 45 minutes away from there. So if you, if you could drive 40 minutes and have your housing costs cut in half, would you do it? If you said yes, that's why you're looking to move to Hesperia, California. So that's a huge, huge plus. There's also elbow room. Hesperia has a mixture. Over near Escondido, which is close to the 15 freeway, that's where most of our track homes are, five, six, seven thousand dollar lots, where you have sewer, you have sidewalks, you have street lights. Um, besides that, for the majority of Hesperia, like the Mesa and other areas, they're larger lots. They're half acres. We do have acre lots, and we have some lots that are greater than an acre. So if you want some elbow room and you don't wanna be able to um, touch your neighbor's house when you go out of your window, Hesperia is an amazing option for you. Likewise, if you like that track setting, but you wanna be close to the freeway, we have that for you too. Close to skiing, surfing, and Las Vegas. Guys, if you live in Hesperia, you're only an hour from Bear Mountain, which is in Big Bear. You could be skiing and snowboarding within an hour. Also, in the summertime, when it gets hot, you can escape up there and it is like 20 degrees cooler, which is awesome. Las Vegas is only three hours away and you've got the beach an hour and a half away. Literally go down, surf in the morning, head on up to Big Bear, go and do some skiing or snowboarding, and then head out to Las Vegas and have an awesome show and dinner all in the same day. Where else can you do that? It's a very special area for that reason. The next pro we have is clean area. We don't have a lot of smog here. The air overall is very, very clean. Here's another pro. Hesperia sometimes, not every year, maybe every other year, it'll get an inch of snow, which is really cool. So if you like the look of snow for a day, you're like, man, it'd be cool if it snowed here for a day and everything was white, you get that. Off-roading, there's a lot of areas in Hesperia where you can live and you could hop on your dirt bike and just head out. Normally it's gonna be southwest Hesperia, so south on the Mesa and pretty much south Hesperia um, backs up to most of the desert. But I mean, that's pretty cool. You could hop on your horse, you can hop on your dirt bike or whatever, and you can ride right out of your driveway. And a lot of the buyers that we work with, they, they talk about that as a major plus of wanting to live here. Sunshine, we get a lot of sunshine. If you live in Southern California, you're used to it. If you're not, this is gonna be something that's really great for you. Lots of vitamin D, we get tons and tons of sunshine. Um, some of the best shopping in the entire high desert is in Hesperia at the Super Target Center off of the 15 Freeway and Main Street. That is also where one of my offices are. So if you go there, stop on by and say hi. Um, Marilyn, our receptionist, may be in the front and it's Realty One Group Empire. But you have you know, Nell Place there, you have a Juice It Up, you have Target, you have sushi to eat. You're only minutes from the 15 freeway if you're in Hesperia. And that, when you come up the 15 freeway, guys, and you're heading north, you have Oak Hills, which is primarily on the left-hand side, and then you have Hesperia, which is primarily on the right. So those are the first two um, cities or areas you're gonna run into. And for that reason, Hesperia has been super popular because you're right off the 15 freeway, you can hop on it and commute down to your job because most of the people have jobs down the hill as we call it. Now winter temps, the daytime high in the winter is gonna be about 58 degrees, so about 60 degrees. That is not bad at all. Um, it's Southern California. It's definitely cooler than Orange County or the beach areas, and uh, it's not uncommon in the winter time for it to get down into freezing temps. So um, those are some of the pros. Let's talk about some of the cons of living in Hesperia. Windy. 
It's windy. It's windy in the entire high desert. If you talk to a real estate agent that tells you it's not windy here, they're flat out lying to you. It is windy in the high desert a lot of the time and Hesperia is no exception. Summertime temps, it can get 100 plus degrees in Hesperia. That is H-O-T hot. So if you can't handle the heat, don't move to Hesperia. It is a desert, guys. Even though it's a high desert, it is a desert. So we get hot summers and cold winters. Um, no rain. That to me is a con because I like green stuff and there just isn't green around here. Everything is pretty much brown. You're gonna see green when the weeds are growing their green and then they die and they turn brown. Junipers, um, they, that's pretty much your only greenery. The only natural um, tree is a Joshua tree, which is absolutely beautiful, I think. But if you're used to big old oak trees and pines and all that, we don't have any of that unless if a man planted it and it's on, on a, a personal property pretty much. So that's a con for sure. Um, I have this as a con, lower traffic, which isn't a con, but except for like Main Street. And if you're gonna go to Victorville and go down Bear Valley, you have some traffic there. Now, let me say this, compared to downtown Los Angeles or New York, no, it's not bad traffic. But compared to what Hesperia used to be 10, 15, 20 years ago, the traffic is increasing. There are more and more homes building. This area is developing quickly. It's blowing up. I think there's gonna be amazing opportunity, but with that comes more traffic. Um, school ratings. Um, the schools are not the best. The schools are rated on, on a scale of one being the worst and 10 being the best. And um, you know, there aren't the best of schools here. So if you're looking to move to an area because you want the best schools, Hesperia is probably not it. Crime, let's talk about crime. Total crime in Hesperia is 11% lower than the national average, so that's good. Now this next statistic didn't make me feel good. Violent crime is 27% higher than the national average. I don't really think that's any sort of uh, <laughs> reassurance. That's definitely a major con. Property crime is 18% lower um, than the national average. So there is definitely some crime. The next con I have, guys, if you like to go out and see live music, if you like to, to go out to a nice restaurant on a date with your significant other, Hesperia is not the place for you. You are definitely not going to go out to a nice restaurant. You're probably not gonna go, go out to a bar um, unless if you just truly love bars. If you're a bar person, awesome. But if, but if you're a person that likes to go to a, a bar that has nice cocktails and nice food and people that are dressed nice, um, we don't have that here in Hesperia. Most of the food is fast food. Most of it's chain. There's very few mom and pops. Um, there are almost no options for um, vegan eating um, or all organic. There's just, there's just, it's just not that type of place. So it's, it's mostly an affordability thing here. We don't have a Whole Foods. Um, so that's just some stuff to, to keep keep in mind. Now Hesperia does have a lake, Hesperia Lake. It has Hesperia Golf Course, which used to be on the PGA Tour many, 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 many years ago, which has gone, the uh, golf course has gone downhill since then. Um, but it does have some pluses to it. So I don't want to paint it like it's all bad. I lived in, in Hesperia for nine years. And um, anyways, those are the pros and cons. If you have any other specific questions or any real estate needs at all relating, re related to Hesperia or California, specifically Southern California, reach out to me. I can connect you with a fantastic agent and we can get you taken care of. I appreciate you watching the video. Have a great day.